Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to install these Prothane poly bushings uh, into the uh, suspension of my uh, 2003 Infiniti G35. So here's one, two, and then three and four both go up on the uh, upper A-arm and when we're done hopefully it'll look something like that. Now to start off obviously I got the j car jacked up. Uh, I took off the wheel And then the next step is I took off all of the uh, uh, underbody molding with uh, 10 meter, 10 millimeter uh, bolts that held it into all the attachment points. And so I took off the front, the front piece that sits right here, and I also took off. There's a smaller uh, plastic shroud that fits back here underneath the transmission. Next step is we will start unbolting the transmission. Now to do this, I'm gonna take off the pivot point uh, bolts, bolt and nut for the lower arm. I'm also gonna disconnect it at the end link right here. And I'm going to disconnect the uh, lower attachment point for the shock absorber. And we'll uh, do those three now, and then uh, we'll come back. All right, before I get started, I figured I'd uh, let you all know what uh, um, socket sizes you're going to need. So the inner is a 19 millimeter. The tie rod is a 18 millimeter, and then a 17 millimeter on the bottom of the... the uh, strut. Now in order to get all the bolts out you might have to throw a jack under there and take some of the tension off of all the bolts so you can slide them out from uh, their positions but uh, that's that's pretty easy to do and I also want to mention that I do have an aftermarket end link, so I, I mentioned that that was 18 millimeters on mine. Uh, I think the stock one is actually 17 millimeters, uh, but uh, so don't uh, don't take my word for that one. It might be different on yours. Now, a problem with installing these new bushings, well, that's not the one that goes there, is if you can see. In here on the bottom of the strut arm are these nubs and those will wreak havoc on the poly material and they'll rip it up so you have to grind those down the instructions that come with it uh, don't mention that at least not that I was able to find so um, be aware of that if you have, I believe these are aftermarket struts, but I think the original struts also had these nubs. So you'll have to grind those down or else you'll end up with a, uh, a poly bush and it's all torn up after a uh, couple, couple miles of driving it. So I've got all of the, I've got all of them off. You can see it's kind of, just kind of hanging here. What I'm going to do is grind these down and I'm going to use for that is my Dremel with uh, one of the grinding bits on it. It'll take a while, but it'll eventually get it nice and smooth. So I'm going to just grind that down while it's on the while it's on the car. So I'll do that, and then um, I'll get my press kit and I'll press out this old bushing and this old bushing, and I'll show you how I do that later. All right. Just uh, to show you the progress, uh, hopefully I can get the light on it right, but uh, you can see that, yep, 
and it's probably about the best I'm going to get a view of it but uh, yeah that uh, front one has been ground down and then the back one I still have left to do and it takes about uh, 10 minutes per nub using this little Dremel but uh, it's easy enough now next uh, part uh, as I mentioned is to push the bearings out so I'm gonna or the bushings out so I got this set up here I say I'm gonna attach my impact wrench here and push the bushing right into this cup here and usually um, well on the other side I found that uh, this bushing just pushes out pretty easily so I'm ho I hope I don't need to get a cup to, to fit on the seal here and push it through but I might need to uh, go back and do that but we'll see how that works well that didn't work the center of the bush uh, bushing just uh, pushed out and it left the seal around the inside of the lower arm so that needs to be pressed out so I got this piece that'll fit uh, just around the lip of that seal and then I'm gonna push that right out well I put the inner bushing and the lower strut bushing back on sorry I forgot to take a video of that part but it's pretty straightforward you'll notice on this lower arm the aluminum housing is is beveled on one of the two sides I, I believe it's the the rear side of each arm is beveled insert that bushing first so you push in this one first and then you put the inner brass colored seal in there and then that will give this other bushing something to sit on so it'll go straight otherwise it's a big pain in the butt to get this one in first because this side is not beveled so you it's really hard to push that through without having it lined up by that inner sleeve so that's just a good tip um, the same thing for this one this side is beveled so you can push this side in first pretty easily put the uh, sleeve the metal sleeve in the middle and then you can press this side on pretty easily because it has that inner sleeve to ride on and and it straightens itself out